Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. Ten floors up, a major fire. You'll see flames and smoke pouring out of the window of the building, which happened today at Lakefront Place Condos in the South Shore neighborhood. CBS 2's Chris Tai has been there all day, where thankfully no one was hurt. But, Chris, some big questions are now emerging. That's right, Joe and Erica, and you can hear behind me. I want to draw your attention to the condo where this all began, that boarded up window right there. They just sealed it up in the last few seconds. Residents not allowed in tonight. A cause of this fire is still unclear, but some tough questions emerging for the property management company after they failed a city building inspection just three days ago for, of all things, failing to provide an annual fire alarm inspection report. All of a sudden, I smelled something, and I said, well, I didn't, I'm not cooking, and then I smelled it got heavier very quickly. What didn't happen quickly? The activation of any alarm system signal that a quick moving fire had engulfed this 10th floor condo, resulting in damage to several floors around it. By Dr. Tanya Radcliffe's count, it was more than 10 minutes until the warning sounded. I had time to walk down from the 14th floor to the lobby, and there was no alarm going off. That's a long walk. It is like serious. That's the voice and video of Alicia Roberts Novak. She was getting ready for the day when a neighbor took it upon himself to alert her and her neighbors. No, there was no alarms that went off. There was a young man who was a hero because he went on every floor and knocked on doors to say that the 10th floor was shooting flames out the side of the building. The call for service came in around 930. It was out within a half hour. Crews used ground hoses to fight it at first. This South Shore condo building is no stranger to major fires. Ten years ago, two people were killed in a fire here, resulting in what residents residents thought was an upgrade of alarm equipment. Yes, that's a problem because they, we just got new system put in there. All of that stuff should have been working. First Service Residential, that is the name of the property management company here. We have reached out to them both by phone and email today for questions about why they failed to provide that fire alarm inspection report just three days ago and why the alarms didn't go off today. Just some of the questions residents have, residents who can't spend the night here and who are worried about where they will spend the foreseeable future and what might all this mean. Two major fires in the course of a decade, what could it mean for their insurance rates? Lots of questions. We'll continue to work on it as this story progresses. For now, live in the South Shore neighborhood, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Chris, thank you. We also have a look at the damage from Chopper 2. Our Sabrina Franza has been digging into past building violations. What she found, she'll have a live report coming up on the CBS 2 News at 6. If you have the CBS Chicago app, you got an alert on your phone about the high rise fire, followed by live coverage on our digital streaming network, CBS News Chicago. To get breaking news on the go, download our app. It's free.